What is up everybody? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. The channel specifically designed for new Terrier owners to learn how to care for their Terriers in the best fashion possible and have some fun watching these videos with Luna in them. So if you think that would be useful for you, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Leave us some comments and be sure to give us a thumbs up on these videos. YouTube greatly appreciates when you do that. And today's video guys is all about Jack Russell Terrier puppies and nine things you can bank on happening and how to prepare for it. And we're starting right now. All right guys, so a lot of the videos on this channel thus far have been about Jack Russell Terriers in general. Not many, if any, of the videos have been geared towards Jack Russell Terrier puppies. And that's what this video is all about. Nine things that you can nearly guarantee will happen and what you can do to prepare for it. So let's dive right into it. You are crazy. And start with number one. And guys, number one starts the second you pick up your Jack Russell Terrier from a breeder or the rescue if they're a puppy. So keep in mind, we're talking about Jack Russell Terrier puppies. And I know this from experience because it happened to me, but the number one thing you need to prepare for before you even go to your breeder to pick one up is they are known to get car sick. When I picked Luna here up, she vomited all over the center console of my car in the cup holders. It reeked, smelled terrible. It was not a pleasant two hour drive home. And my breeder even gave us a cheat sheet explaining car sickness. So clearly this is something you can come to expect when you pick them up. When it comes to what you can do about it, if you have a long drive, honestly, there's not much you can do except prepare and have some supplies in the vehicle ready to go in case it happens you know have something you can wipe down the car maybe put them on a floorboard in a in a kennel would be a good option but here's the problem is they'll probably still get car sick in the kennel and then they'll be in their own vomit if they vomit in that kennel she sat in my lap she basically slept the entire way home minus the vomiting but prepare in some fashion for car sickness do what you can to comfort them on the way home, but expect that you might get a little doggy puke in the vehicle. Number two guys that you can nearly guarantee will happen with any new Jack Russell Terrier puppy, male or female, is these dogs pee nonstop. The poop is easier to train with a Jack Russell puppy than the pee. Their bladders are like the size of a baby pee. They are tiny little dogs whenever you first get them. And if they, you know, slurp up a bunch of water, they're peeing, it's almost like it runs through their system within about 30 seconds. So, A, start potty training right away so you can avoid some of the issues we talked about in the last video that came out where you're still struggling, you know, six months, nine months, or even a year down the road. And B, if they're drinking a ton of water and you notice it, let them out shortly after that and plan on letting them out all of the time anyways. These guys need to go out constantly. What is with you today? These guys need to go out constantly. They will pee and they typically will sneak away from me a little bit. They'll go around a corner in a different room. They'll find a spot to go where they don't have to do it right in front of you. So whenever you first get them as a puppy, keep an eye on them. The last video that I will have go across the top of the screen here for you if you want to check out is about using a tethering method inside of the house so you can supervise them easier. But when these guys are puppies <laughs> and even a few months further into it, you can almost guarantee that the pee will be nonstop. It'll be difficult in the beginning, but it does get better. All right, guys, number three is Jack Russell's have those sharp puppy teeth and they chew everything. So if it was me and I could go back in time, I would have just a huge collection of dog toys ready to go for her. They chew, they basically explore the world by using their mouth. They will chew things that you don't want them to chew and they will chew on your hands and be a little bit nippy. What? It's not like you can disagree with that. You still do that. So plan on that. Get plenty of safe dog toys for your Jack Russell before you get home. Try and replace some of those negative chewing behaviors with positive behaviors that you prefer to see them chew and understand that it's going to happen. Don't think that you're going to make it through all of puppyhood without some things that you don't want chewed getting chewed because I can nearly guarantee you ain't gonna make it. It just isn't gonna happen. These dogs are smart and until they're fully trained they use that smartness against you. 
They will find what they want to do if they get bored and they will do what they want. So if you can't keep an eye on them every waking second of the day, expect it, put the things that you don't want chewed up and out of their reach and give them the things that you do want them to chew. And be sure to offer them praise when they chew those things so that they understand that that is the desirable behavior you're looking for. <laughs> you comfy, Luna? You sleeping? Better? Do you need anything else? Need a pillow? Back massage? All right, guys, the next one on my list here is be ready to suffer through crate training after you get one of these Jack Russell Terriers. They are going to whine, bark, howl, claw at the crate and do everything they can to make you feel terrible about putting them in that crate. But if you don't crate them, or you fall victim to letting them out when they do that, you're basically letting them know that if they cry and whine until they get their way, ultimately they will get their way. That is not what you wanna do. So prepare to be sad and feel terrible for doing it, but know that if you make it through crate training and you do that and let them go through that initial separation anxiety, that it will get better and it's ultimately better for you and your dog in the future. They need to learn that you can be away from them you need a place that you can put them and count on your own furniture and house not being destroyed if you need to leave. And creating a Jack Russell is probably one of the number one methods for getting through the potty training phase. So plan on feeling like the devil for putting them in the crate. Plan on being sad about it. Plan on them being frustrated and sounding like a animal you've never heard inside of a crate before. And just know it's going to happen and push through it. Let them whine, get through the night, let them go potty, put them back in there, shut the gate, leave it alone. I know that it sucks. I've been through it with several dogs, but the sooner you get it out of the way, the better they're going to be. Guys, here's number five. And this one, most people I would think know this, but maybe not because a common behavior trait from a Jack Russell is that they are very hyper and energetic. When you first get your Jack Russell home as a puppy, they basically sleep all day. It's like a newborn baby. They're a little bit sad about leaving their mother or their family. They don't necessarily eat right away, which I'll cover shortly, but they sleep a lot. I remember when I first got her, she would basically just curl up in my lap. They basically wrap their bodies around and do a little ball. And she would sit there almost all day and just sleep. She would wake up if she, you know, wanted to be a little nippy, chewy, or run around for a minute, or usually when she wanted to try and go hide to go pee somewhere in the house. But they will sleep a lot. So the hyperness that everybody knows about with these dogs prepare for the opposite when you first get home because that energy isn't necessarily there those first few weeks. It comes, trust me, they do get hyper. They are a hyper dog, but in the beginning, they sleep, they're adjusting, and you can take advantage of that and enjoy it. All right, guys, my next tip about these Jack Russell Terrier puppies is they might be a little bit picky with food and eating when they're trying to adjust to their new environment. She would eat I mean, she basically was as close as you could come to needing spoon-fed her meals. She was would eat a few bites, walk away, easily distracted. She might have just been adjusting to being away from her family and being in a brand new home, but in the beginning, they might not eat, you know, like a dog that's been with you for a few years, and they might not like the dog food that you pick. So the biggest recommendation I can give you with this is try and stick with the food that they were already eating from the breeder. Most breeders are going to wing them off the mother dog and then have them on some kind of hard food diet or dry food diet, I should say, for a little bit before you pick them up. So if they have that food that you can take home some of it, or if you can purchase it in advance, I would do that so that you're not throwing another variable into the loop for your puppy. You're keeping something the same. You know that they already eat the food. And if you do it like that, then you can just get them adjusted to that food right off the bat, which is better for their potty training because usually new foods for a dog will cause loose stool, a little bit of stomach issues or an upset belly. So plan on them being a little picky, acting like princesses, and also try and stick to the same foods for your Jack Russell puppy. All right guys, next on the list for a new Jack Russell Terrier puppy is when they go outside, you can expect for sure that they will chase everything, sniff everything, and just be alert about everything. She, from a very young age, the hunting 
instincts in these dogs shows very quickly. She still does it to this day. Instead of going potty first, she typically listens, looks around for about five seconds, and then darts under every bush that's in the backyard, chasing something that I can't even see. That's what these dogs do. So if you notice it, not a big deal. It's what they're bred to do. So plan on your Jack Russell puppy basically darting around the yard like a mad woman or mad man, chasing everything it sees, picking up scents, which leads me into my next tip is you can guarantee that a Jack Russell puppy is going to dig. These dogs are diggers. If you don't train them not to or find ways to get them to stop, you will be putting some topsoil into your yard. These guys, and they dig fast, like they're, these guys are expert diggers. If they wanted to tunnel out of the yard under a fence, they could probably do it in a short few minutes if they really put some effort into it. So plan ahead, understand that they find clever ways to do crazy stuff in the yard. You know, keep an eye on them, use a lead if you want to, but it's something you can definitely plan on happening with these breeds of dogs. It's just, it's in their blood basically. To sleep, go to sleep. Yeah, the breast stinks. And guys, the last one I have for you is this dog as a puppy will use its cuteness and its intelligence against you. They are smart, they want to test the boundaries, test the limits, and if you don't have that relationship dynamic where they understand that you are the boss, they become the boss. So, right away, right when you get your puppy, start that socialization process, start the training, start some obedience training, which is actually what our video on Sunday is all about, so make sure, so make sure you tune in for that video, but when it comes to establishing that dynamic in the relationship, you need to do it as quickly as possible because if you don't, they're going to see if you can handle them being in charge. And guys, make sure that you leave us some comments about what you notice with your Jack Russell Terrier puppy. I know a lot of you that are on this channel leave comments all the time, and a lot of you are brand new at owning one of these Jack Russells or you recently just adopted one. So let us know how your Jack Russell behaves. Again, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, be sure to subscribe to the channel down below. Give us that thumbs up. It helps us immensely get seen by other Terrier owners on YouTube. And the URL going across the bottom of the screen here, be sure to visit TerrierOwner.com. That helps us out immensely on Google. Get seen by other Terrier owners. You just go to your URL web address bar type in terrierowner.com, check out the blog, share us on social media if you wanna really do us a favor, or if you really enjoy these videos. Otherwise guys, we will see you on Sunday. Happy holidays and take care. Say bye, Luna.